Today we're going to teach you how to make a cascading bouquet. A cascading bouquet is one of the more intricate and complicated bouquets to make. Essentially, you will be creating a bouquet today using orchids, some calla lilies, about 7 to 10 stems, and 12 to 18 white roses. And as well, you will also require some greenery. The roses have already been prepared and cut for insertion. You will also need, require a bouquet holder. We are using a professional bouquet holder, but if you do not have one available, you will need a ceramic vase that will be heavy enough to hold down on the table with a slender opening so that you could place your bouquet holder inside. You will also need a bouquet holder, some warm water to wet it in. When wetting your bouquet holder, place it into the water and let it fully submerge. Do not push down. Pushing down will form air bubbles inside of the oasis and your flowers could potentially die. When your bouquet holder is fully submerged, simply lift it out. Throughout our career, we have heard a lot of stories about things that happen with cascading bouquets. One of the more unfortunate things that have happened is that flowers have been known to fall out during the ceremony. It is essential to prevent this, and that is one simple trick to prevent it. You will be needing to insert your flowers in a grid pattern so that they interlock inside of your oasis. This interlocking will ensure that the flowers are crisscrossed against each other and are firmly rooted and will not fall out. When assembling your bouquets, start with the flowers with the softest stems. It is essential to put them in first because if you save it for later, you will not be successful in putting them in. As a result, your flowers might risk breaking. So, ensure to start with the softest and juiciest stems. The idea of a cascading bouquet is that the flowers are proportionally mixed from top to bottom and appear to be falling. Flowers must be mixed in an equal and measured pattern so to create that effect. If you cannot insert the flower, you can choose to take some wire, put it through the head of the flower, and wrap it up with some flower tape. This will allow for the flower to be inserted with ease. Now we're going to continue to use the longer stemmed flowers. It is essential that these flowers are pushed in deeply into the oasis in order to create the gridlock pattern inside the oasis. We will be assembling the bottom part of the cascading bouquet with these longer stems. Now we will carry on inserting the roses. 
We are mixing the flowers so that they are equally placed throughout the bouquet. It is essential to achieve this effect. Flowers are disproportionately placed throughout the bouquet. It will not appear as symmetrical and therefore will not appear as though it is cascading downward. While assembling the flowers, take the chance to fill up the gaps with greenery. The greenery helps you fill up the gaps as well as strengthens the inside interlocking between the flowers. You will be unable to fill up it with greenery when more flowers are present, so ensure to do it before you've assembled the entire bouquet. Your bouquet, as you see, forms a star shape. Maintain symmetry and length proportionality. When putting your orchids at the top half of the cascading bouquet, you can either choose to cut the stem or you might be able to block up the blooms off the stem and put a wire through it. Simply put the wire through the heads of the orchids and wrap it up with flower tape before inserting it into your bouquet. The use of filler is very important. Use baby's breath as well as greenery to fill in any gaps throughout your bouquet and create a fullness and a richness. Ensure that the gaps underneath your bouquet are filled up as well so that there is no oasis peering through. As well, adding greenery strengthens the inside of the bouquet and helps interlock the stems together to keep them from falling out. This is your finished product. Make sure that all of your flowers are assembled proportionally and in a pattern so to achieve the cascading effect. Make sure all of the gaps are filled, especially at the bottom so there is no transparency between the stems. Your flowers should be intertwined so well that nothing will come loose. You can potentially grip it from the bottom and nothing will come out. As you can see, all of the stems are intertwined and firmly placed inside of each other. This is your finished product, so I hope you enjoyed watching our assembly. Have a wonderful day.